When iOS 13.6 just officially came out and honestly it was a pretty big update overall but it wasn't a big update in terms of the features and all that stuff that were added even though there were some really cool ones but this was also a pretty big stability update as well which is very important when you have a phone like an iPhone success anytime we can get some stability on our device is a really really good thing now I do have like I said the success on me I always stay strapped I always try to keep at least one of these things on me at all times now with 13.6, I think it brought some really cool features and there were some ones that are really, really important in my opinion. And the very first one that Apple actually put out, but before I get there, the size of this update was about 248 megabytes. Now, I said before that it was about 300 to about 400 megabytes, 500 on a lot of my devices, and I still stand by that. So make sure you have around 300 to 500 megabytes saved on your device before you go and update. Now luckily when I did update, I didn't run into any other crazy issues. It was pretty much straightforward on my 6s. I ran into kind of a weird issue on my iPhone 8. Basically when I updated it, I had to keep going back and forth for it to finally register and allow me to click download and install. But other than that, everything was pretty much set for the most part. Now one of the coolest features with 13.6 would definitely be the new car keys or digital car keys feature. So what this actually allows you to do is if you have a device that supports digital car keys of any way, you'll actually be able to go and basically install your car keys and embed them within your phone. So you can remote start, you can keyless start, all that stuff and, you know, lock and unlock your car straight from your phone, which is very, very impressive. So you have that capability on your iPhone success, which is very cool. Now, I don't have a car that supports this, so I'm kind of left out. But if you do have a car that supports it, then that's really, really awesome. And hopefully you can utilize that for the rest of your life. Apple News also got a little bit of an update as well. So I don't know what it brought, but it brought some cool features. The health app got some pretty big updates as well. And those three things are pretty much the main things when it comes down to features. But there were so many bug fixes that I can't even hit on all of them. So I'll paste them on the screen right now directly from Apple. And as you can see, there were a ton of changes. And I think that's really cool. I think any time Apple pushes out an update that has these many bug fixes, it's very impressive. And I love Apple whenever they do something like this. So for sure, I will tell you, if you're on iOS 13, going up to iOS 13.6 is definitely going to be a good thing, especially if you want a success. Now, I did run a Geekbench score as well. As you guys can see, I have 503 as my single core score and 981 as my multi-core score. And definitely not like a crazy big improvement or anything like that, but you know, it's a good score, I think, to have. I hover around 1,000 anyway on my success on any given day, so 981 is not, you know, untypical or anything like that. It seems about the same stability. It seems about the same performance and everything. If you guys want to see a performance update or speed difference between 13.6 and 14, then I'll do it. But the question that I'm going to get is if you're on iOS 13, should you update to 13.6 on a success? Obviously, yes. I think it's a pretty good stable update. I didn't run into any issues, so I can recommend it. But a bigger thing is, is that if I'm going to 13.6, why don't I just update to 14 beta? I would 100% dissuade you away from that. I don't think that's a good idea at all. I think staying on 13.0 or 13.x, whatever, is a way better option than going to 14. I think there's going to be too many bugs, too many issues. You're better off staying on 13.6 and going from there. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So me so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to them.